He ain't got time to bleed. Hey, what's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Hardhead. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right at the top here, we have Hardhead in mid decapitation. For us and Hardhead, hey, look, there he is again. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have your brief bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with that same piece of artwork and the tech specs for Hardhead and Feroz. Hooray for cards. So moving right along, here we have Hardhead in his H-Tank mode, as he likes to do. And a uh, pretty nice figure. I do quite like this. So we're getting close here so you can see the details. Lots of nice molded detail in this figure here. Going down the sides. And this plastic does have that nice uh, sparkly finish to it, which I do love when they do that. And just going down the sides here, you can see all the nice molded details. Looks very good. And going down the center here, again, nice molded details. Going down, you have a nice trans clearance orange cockpit right there. Yeah, some Autobot symbols. You have an Autobot symbol right there, and two right there. You have the big old cannon, which looks very nice. And there you have the back. There you have the bottom. It does have three rolling wheels. You have these two wheels back here, and this one wheel in the center. And he does roll very well. Not super smoothly, but it, it rolls. It, 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 not too shabby. Not, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So, there you have that. Oh, and just for a comparison, here he is with Deluxe Scourge. So you can see how he scales with his wave mate there. And here he is with Make Toys, not Masterpiece, not Hardhead. Right there, so you can see how he scales with that big boy. This third party incarnation. So there you have that. Um, the cannon does have some articulation. You can move it up. Uh, you can get a little bit of side-to-side -side movement before you start banging into stuff, but luckily this is on a double hinge here, so if you want some more range of movement, you can just raise that up, and now you can do a full 360, which is pretty cool. So you have that right there. Um, Accessory-wise, he does include his gun which is just cast in green plastic. And as you can see, it's very, very hollow on the side. <laughs> More so than it is on the other side, which is kind of weird. But that's eh, the way things are now. What are you going to do? But you can store it in the vehicle mode. There's a port right there. Just plug it on, and there you go. And now you have a gun on top of your cannon. Because why not? <laughs> Dare I say why not? The cannon not good enough? Put a gun on top of it. There you go. <laughs> so there you have that. And of course, he does include his Titan Master, his Headmaster, whatever you want to call it. So there he is Furos, and we're getting close here on his noggin. You can see they actually painted his eyes blue. His face is done in yellow, although the paint on mine's a little smudged up. You can see, pretty nice. And of course, he does have the upside down face on his back. <laughs> they make no attempt whatsoever to try to cover up the face like the old Headmasters used to do. There you go, and the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly waggly. The shoulders are on a ball joint, but they don't get too much range of motion. That's pretty much all the outward you're going to get. And he can move his arms all the way up. He can at least put his arms up. Yay! He can do that. <laughs> he can celebrate. He can celebrate all normal-like. And his hips are just on a hinge right here, and the knees are on a hinge right there. Um, the lower legs are just one solid piece, so they don't move independently. There you go. And for comparison, here he is with Make Toys version, which is more masterpiece scaled and styled. So you have that. Uh, here he is with a Fans Project Headmaster. Right there. And here he is with a G1 Headmaster. So you have that.
Now, of course, you do have options for how you want to display your Titan Master. You do have four posts on his uh, vehicle mode. You have a post right there, a post right there, a post right there, and a post right there. So you can load him up with Titan Masters. Plug it over there. Plug it back there. Have him hang out wherever you want. Or, if you want, you can just open up the, uh, the cockpit here. Sometimes it can be a pain to get open. There we go. And you can just sit him down. Bring his arms up. Bring his legs up. You can just sit him down in there, and there you go. You can drive the tank. Hooray for driving tanks. So there you have that. And you can also take him, and this is pretty cool. i remove this. You can also uh, take the main cannon here. I'll just remove this for now. You can take this section right here, and you can open this up and bring this back like that on this double hinge and you can sit him down in here like that and plug that gun back in and have that as a cool weapon emplacement that you can plug onto any of your other uh you know uh, leader class figures you know plug them onto the base modes or have another robot hold it if you wish you know you can have spring galvatron here just because he's on the table can galvatron hold him there we go so you can have galvatron hold him why not there I'll say, why not? Hey, it's your toy. You can do whatever you want with it. So there you have that. So that's pretty cool. There is also posts back here to plug a Titan Master onto, but unfortunately these posts don't really work. Um, seems like the connection is a little, little too loose, and it doesn't actually hold, unfortunately. But you know, they're they're there if you can get it balanced in some way. I don't know. We could plug one back there. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, we'll just close this back up. And just plug this back on. And there you go. So that's pretty much it for the vehicle modes. Let's just get right down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, put him off to the side. We'll remove this gun and put that off to the side for now. And we will get started. So first thing you want to do is you want to take this crotch plate section right here, and you want to raise this up, and I'll just tab in right there. So tab that in, and then you take the legs and you untab them Ooh, right there from that central piece. And then you can take the legs and just bring them down like that. Flip out the foot. There you got a leg all done. Bring it down, flip out the foot, and there you go. And you can take this whole assembly here and just swing it around, and this tab will go into that slot right there. Tab that in, and we got the lower body done. So now you just want to take the arms here and just bring them out on this hinge right there. And you can see this, uh, this hinge actually just plugs in right there. Doesn't lock in securely, but it's just a place for it to rest. So you just remove those, and then you take this whole assembly and you bring this down, and bring this down, and this tab will plug in right there. Nice and secure like. And then you just bring his arms down, and you extend them like that. Flip out the fist. Second first name is the first. Bring it down. Flip out the fist. And you have these hinges here, so you can kind of angle these shoulders how you want. I like to bring them up just a little bit. Like that. And then, of course, you take your Titan Master here. And you just bring his arms down, fold them in half. And you just plug him on. Boop. And there you have Hardhead in his robot mode, and he looks quite, quite cool, if you ask me. Now, you can leave the cannon on his back if you want, or if not, you can just take this and bring it up and have it sit over his shoulder, and that looks pretty cool. Um, it doesn't give him a whole lot of room for his head, unfortunately. His, it will kind of knock against his head. You kind of have to leave it, you know, kind of point it off to the side there. But still, looks pretty cool, and, and I, I do like him. He looks he looks really good in my opinion. Getting close here. Oh, there, head sculpt, nice head sculpt, nice blue paints for the eyes and yellow for the mouth plates. 
And yeah, all around nicely done. Got some nice silver right there on the crotch piece, some yellow, some red. And quite good. And a nice clean transformation. You know, he has the usual hard head backpack there. <laughs> Yeah, looks really nice. I, I do quite like this guy. Um, Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can get a little bit of wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. Uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can do a full 360. You can go in and out. You can use a transformation joint as well to get some more outward movement. And again, you can use that hinge right there to kind of angle the shoulders however you want. You do have a bicep swivel. You have a double-jointed elbow, which only gives you slightly above 90 degrees of movement. You do have a wrist swivel. Um, you can use a transformation joint for articulation as well, if that serves any purpose whatsoever. Uh, nothing at the waist. Uh, the hips are on a ball joint. So you can go forward that much. I can go back uh, that much. Outward movement. You can pretty much do the full splits. Thigh swivel. 90 degrees of the knee band. And you can move his Toes down, at least, if that serves any purpose to you whatsoever. That's pretty much all you can do with them. And there you go. Now, of course, you can give him his gun. You can plug it on top of the cannon if you want, or just have him holding it. As he should, anyway. And there you go. So there you have that in full comparison. Here he is with Scourge, and we'll bring in... Skull Smasher while we're at it. You can see how they all look together. There you have that. Uh, here he is with the Galvatron. You can see how he scales there with the Voyagers. There you have that. And here he is with Power Master Optimus Prime. You can see how he scales there with him. And last but not least, here he is with Make Toys, not Masterpiece, not Hardhead, right there. So there you have that, and there you go. So there is Hardhead, um, really nice figure. I do quite like him. Very nicely done in my opinion. I do quite enjoy him. Nicely done figure. I dig him. I dig him very, very much. Definitely, uh, definitely one of my favorites of this wave, so... There you go! There you have Hardhead, and if you would like a Hardhead or any other Titans Return figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Titans Return playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Hardhead, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing, be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Greetings, Hardhead! Oh, hello, sir. Say, that's a, that's a pretty nice cannon you got there. No, oh, thank you, sir. I'm proud of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... I was wondering if you, uh, you know, if you don't want it anymore, you know, I'll, I'll be happy to take it off your hands for you. Um, uh, no, 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 sir, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with it. Oh, yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. How about I trade you for it? What? Trade me what? Wait here! I'll trade you this little guy, only slightly used. Uh, no, that's, that's, that's quite all right, sir. That's, it's quite all right. What are you talking about? This is a great deal! He'll do more damage than that cannon ever will! He is so obnoxious! Hey! No offense. But seriously, take him! You can have him for free!